G'day there. You're watching the Aussie BIM Guru, um, and today I've got a, just a bit of an announcement video, I guess. Um, as you can probably tell by the title, um, I've decided to take a pretty substantial break um, from YouTube. Um, I have taken a few breaks before recently, and on the back of that and just, you know, what's going on in my life, I probably don't just really have enough time to do what I do here anymore. Um, it's a bit of a bummer. Um, I will upload things from time to time and probably come back for periods of time when I find things I wanna share with you. Um, but in general, probably for at least the short term, I don't expect to be uploading a great deal of videos. So I thought I'd really quickly just run through what I am working on right now and where you can follow what I do. And just also a bit of rationale behind why I'm taking an indefinite break. So I guess um, probably the main reason I'm, you know, taking a break um, and a pretty big one at that probably is I just have a lot going on um, the channel was you know a really great way for me to get my name out there to show people what I can do to help people but at the same time it's led to a lot of different things such as my consulting business my course platform that I want to put a bit more time towards um, and I'm also looking at a, a you know full-time or part to full-time role with a computational team uh, at an architectural firm currently as well so there's a lot going on. Um, I probably just wound up teaching my semester at university this year as well. So um, on the back of that, I just, I just really don't have a great deal of time to produce these videos. Um, I have felt my quality slipping a little bit. I'll be honest, I try to make these videos as fast as possible, single take, very little editing, as you probably notice. Um, a lot of people like that. They like the raw, standard just as it comes nature of what I do but at the same time um, I can tell that I don't quite have my heart in it as much as I used to um, but at the same time I, I hope that I've left a really good legacy of videos for other people to follow me um, to the point that I've got to. Uh, another really big reason why I'm taking a break is um, I'm finding my days are getting a little bit too bimmy. <laughs> There's a lot of bim. Um, I like BIM, I'm passionate about it, I'm passionate about what it does for the industry, but um, but the channel combined with everything else means that a large portion of my week is dealing with BIM, <laughs> and, and I get a little bit sick of it sometimes. And I don't want this to be a place that I come to begrudgingly to share things. Um, I don't want to just have to do more BIM, I'd rather come here because I want to throw ideas out there. At the same time too, I'm planning to start researching and learning a lot of new things that I don't know. Um, I probably have put a bit of my own self-education on hold to focus on the channel um, in the past and I've got to the point where I've shared a majority of what I know um, to some degree on the channel. Um, so I've sort of reached the point of PyRevit. Um, I only just started learning that probably about a year and a half ago, not even. So um, I'm really starting to get quite close to what I can feasibly share from a point of experience. So I also do want to just go and, you know, learn myself. Um, whilst I can teach everyone, uh, teachers also have to learn themselves. So that, that sort of motivated me just to take a bit of a step back um, and focus on my own career and personal development as well. Um, I'm also settling down a little bit in life as well. Um, I'm in my early to mid thirties at the moment. And um, there's a lot of things that I still want to do personally um, in my life and it does require a little bit of sacrifice of my time. You know, I have a partner who, you know, I care about very deeply and, you know, we're, we're looking to take some, some new steps in, in our relationship together um, over the next year or two, um, potentially moving states and, and there's definitely some time I need to put towards that. Um, I've still got my two cats walking around in the background, so I have to take care of them, but, but um, you know, one day I'm sure there'll probably be more than cats walking around the house. So. Uh, there's a lot of things I need to manage there as well, so that, that's sort of partially motivated me to pick a few baskets rather than too many of them all at the same time. So, what am I still working on? Well, quite a lot actually. Um, I had to stand back the other day and just figure out how many side projects I had going and realised I had quite a lot. Um, I actually watched the ArcSci panel and someone said you need your side hustles and everyone got very angry about it, rightfully so, but I do realize I do have quite a few side hustles. So um, I am still consulting um, in a, a reduced capacity compared to what I did last year because I have joined a team on a part-time basis um, at a large firm, so as a computational leader. So that has split my time somewhat. Um, I've just finished teaching my second semester of university and probably not teaching next year. Um, and, and as a result, I've got a few other side avenues that have come from all that. So I've got my course platform over at courses.bimguru.education. There's more content coming there quite soon that I've been working on. Um, and I've also got uh, my Crumple Dynamo package and hopefully somewhere down the line, I'll be able to get back to my PyRivet project, um, PyRivet as well. 
So uh, between all those side projects, there's quite a lot going on. Um, so I guess all those avenues are places where you can follow what I'm doing and you're most welcome to. Um, I do expect to still jump into lots of panels and webinars and discussions. Uh, I did consider making this channel a bigger focus for me. Um, I really take a lot of inspiration from channels like Revit Pure, the Revit Kid, um, and, and how they bring people live onto their channel to discuss what they're up to. Um, but I don't think I've got the time. That was the challenge for me. I, I'm amazed that they both managed to find the time um, in their lives. They're both parents, so I don't know how they do it, but hats off to them that they can. Um, I know they sort of break it into seasons, which I guess helps them manage their time. Um, but I myself, just I'm not sure that's really something that I've got the time for, at least right now. Um, so when you put that all together, um, I guess my time's a little bit short. So I don't know how long I'll be off for. I mean, it could be forever, hopefully not. Um, but it's just indefinite at this point, I guess. Having said that, um, I hope that I've helped a lot of people learn more about BIM and learn specifically about Revit, Dynamo, Grasshopper, PyRevit, all sorts of platforms that I'm exploring as well. There's a lot of new platforms on the horizon that I'll probably come back to the channel to look at from time to time. Uh, but do remember that the future of BIM is mostly about interoperability and managing your data in more open and creative ways. That's definitely where I'm seeing the future of the industry shifting. So if you are someone that is just using Revit or just using Dynamo, try to broaden your horizons. Um, there are some horizon broadeners on the channel that you can look into, um, but just keep an open mind. Um, try not to limit your vision to just what Revit does because I do find a lot of my followers are still mostly focusing on how they can use Revit. Um, and I do recommend you also fo focus on soft skills as well, management skills, communication skills, that they're always going to be needed. Um, but I hope I've given you all um, you know, things that you can, you can use in the real world. That's always been the goal of this channel. And I've, I've found it a really rewarding experience to the point that I've got to. Um, I do regret that I you know, don't have enough time for this anymore. Um, but at the same time, I don't wanna say it's you know, permanent, it's just for now. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get enough time for this again. So, probably a bit of a bummer, I know. Um, if you were following me regularly, um, feel free to go back and watch all my old stuff that you haven't seen yet. There's heaps of stuff in there. But at the same time, um, I am still available if you wanna contact me for ideas or just general assistance. Um, so I can be reached at aussiebimguru at gmail.com. I'm also on the Dynamo forums as the BIM Guru. I'm on Twitter as the BIM Guru and Aussie BIM Guru. And I'm also on LinkedIn as Gavin Crump. So you can find me in lots of different places. Um, I'm still very much working in the industry um, more than ever, if anything. Um, but I guess here's one place that you know I won't be as frequently. So um, to you, the viewers, um, I'd like to say thank you uh, for where you've got me to, and also I hope that I've I hope that I've helped to get you to a, a, a higher place than, than where you were before as well. So I guess for now, um, we'll say it one more time. But um, I guess if you're not following and subscribing. Uh, you're still welcome to do so, um, but hopefully I'll see you down the line um, in all sorts of places and videos and channels and wherever you find me. Um, so thanks for all the support and um, I'll see you later. Take care.